hello and welcome back and now we understand what is single page application so generally uh, i brought a wikipedia definition for single page application so if you read it is like this a single page application is a web application or a website that reacts with the users by dynamically rewriting the current web page with new data from the web server so instead of the default method of web browser loading the entire new pages something like a jargon uh, don't worry i have a uh, i have a image here to understand what is single page application so generally what happens is a traditional page development and single page application development is different and there's a new trend of web application development is single page application and when uh, when you are learning uh, react js vue js angular so everything all comes under the a single page application okay so first we'll understand what is this traditional page life cycle see here i have a client and i have a server so generally what happen first time when client will send a request to the server so server will be respond with a html pages along with some styles and javascript so that loads on a client so every application for example when you open a browser and you enter a facebook.com so when you enter a facebook.com so it send a request uh, to the facebook server and complete facebook uh, uh, html and the css styles everything will be loaded into your local client's browser so that is one time first time process so your page got completely reloaded and you can see the complete data over there that is first request and then next time onwards let's see what happened in a traditional page for the next form post for example you click on a link or you click on uh, uh, you submit a form data so whatever activity you perform it send a request to server and here is the important story what server does from the next request onwards so what server does is every time you send a request so server will prepare the response in a html format so it means the complete uh, response will come from the server is in a html so it's server will decide what page to be display okay so the complete pages will be received by the server and server will remove the existing dom and will just replace the existing html with a new html okay so that's where you can see a page refresh okay so your page got completely refreshed because existing dom was destroyed and new dom was created in the place of existing dom so that's where whatever the link you click on the web page you will see a complete page refresh okay that's a traditional view of uh, <clears throat> application development so when you come to the single page application what happens is yeah single page application as look and feel same like uh, traditional okay look and feel it means don't feel like single page application is meaning like oh, just one page will be there no uh, it contains multiple links uh, you have home page now but whatever links you want you can keep there okay but how it works is of course for the first request you send to server of course server will send a response uh, of html and it will load in the client browser that is one thing and after that whatever the next request you perform on the page so as soon as you have seen the first page on the, the home page on the uh, on your client browser so from then you never see a page refresh it means whatever the link you click on the page or you submit the form data you click on the button you go through navigation you switch between the multiple pages whatever activity you perform on that application will be sending every ajax request to server so internally it sends an ajax request to server and server process the data and this time server will never provide you the html response so it gonna provide you a raw data that's a json data because angular does the front end development bit easy manner than the server okay angular knows how to uh, display your content okay so the server is going to provide only just data so we know that we have a design we have a components we have binding everything is there in the client just only thing is the data so the data which will be given by the server is a json data so that json data will pick up by the angular application will be projecting wherever it is required 
and the meanwhile it will remove the uh, the components which are not required in the uh, DOM dynamically and it, it just injects a new DOM uh, over there so it's not completely replacing your DOM structure only the parts of UI will be changing so you never ever see a page refresh and this is a better user experience and for example uh, we have a, a Facebook application we have a Gmail application so Facebook application Gmail application uh, remember you you remember this Gmail right so when you click on a compose uh, when you go with different different links okay when you see the mails and when you filter whatever activity you perform you never see anything page refresh right once as soon as the page is loaded same story even for Facebook so nowadays the new trend is for single page applications okay so for a better user experience so to develop such a new trending uh, single page application we have to learn the frameworks like angular or react or view so that's where we are learning the angular and it's given by the google so that's it for single page application i guess you understand what is about and the next uh, video we understand what is component based development because these are like a key pillars to understand what angular does okay so thank you so much and let's understand component-based development. Thank you.